Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is delete these extrusions that you made. Like I said in the email, rather than doing an extrusion, you're going to need to do a sweep. Um, a sweep, this is a picture I sent to you, will take a circle and follow a path. So you would have to draw the circle and then the path like this. So what you're going to need to do is you already have the circle drawn, but you're going to need a parabola, which if you look, <clears throat> a bridge is in fact, the, the suspension cable of the bridge is in fact in the shape of a parabola. So you'll need two things here. Um, to draw a sketch that would be the path, you need it to be intersecting this point of the circle that you have here. So the first thing we're going to do is draw or create a plane on which you're going to sketch. I'm going to click the plane button. And the method of plane creation is going to be a plane and a point. So what that means is I'm going to click this plane so that the plane I create is parallel to it. And I'm going to click your point here that's the center of your circle. And that's it. You can hit the green check. And now if you look, this plane that I just drew is going through the center of that circle. So now if I draw the path that your cable is going to follow, it's going to go right through the centers of those circles. So now I'm going to draw a sketch on the sketch plane. Okay, so now we're in the sketch. You will want to project your center of your circle onto the sketch plane. So I'm just going to zoom in and make sure I get the center of the circle. And now since you don't have a circle on the other side, I'm going to just use a mirror tool and put a circle over there so that I can connect the two lines between them. I'm going to use a mirror tool. Zoom in, you already have a plane here in the middle of your um, bridge. So I'm going to click that plane to mirror around. And I'm just going to click that point that I just drew. Now, if you look, I should have a point over here. Yep, there it is. OK, so now to draw what represents the shape of the cable, I'm going to click the line tool in a construction line and draw across to there. And this is also in the video that I sent you an email. But so basically you want to get the center of the bridge again, so that the point you're laying down here is vertically aligned with that. And now I'm just going to draw three separate line segments. It doesn't matter where they land, but you do want the end point up here to touch your original point. The reason I say it doesn't matter what they were is because you're going to set them equal now so that you have three equal line segments. And the other thing you want to do is set them parallel. And that is so that we basically, if you just click each segment twice, so you get this one parallel to that, that parallel to that. Um, the point of this is so that we have this line broken up into thirds. Uh, that's the easiest way to do that. And these are all construction lines, which means they are dashed line. So now what we're going to do is create the actual parabolic curve. So just click on the spline tool up here. And you're just going to pick this point. Come over and pick your other point. And now hit the Enter. It doesn't matter where my mouse is right now because once I hit Enter, it um, Enter. No. Hold on. Click one point, click the other point. Now that you've clicked that second point, you can just come to that second point and double click again and double click will end the spline. And now you'll see you have two points that show up here and here. What you're going to now do is drag this point down so that it coincides with that point, which is the one third marker. And now you're going to drag the other spline point. And if we had a third marker over here, we could just click it, but we don't. So what we're going to do is come over here and make it so that it snaps to be horizontal with that point. And then click it there. And now you have a parabola uh, in the shape that you need. It's just now a question of how tall do you want it. To make the height, you can 
just click and drag this point. What am I? Oh, something must be fixed. I must have gotten a sketch constraint in there that I didn't want. Let me see if I can dimension this. All right, so I think I see what the problem is. I somehow have a perpendicular constraint here, which I don't, when I was sketching it, it must have automatically been added. Hopefully that didn't happen to you. So once I delete that, I should be able to um, set this number. You could also, if you don't want to have a number on there, you can just drag this until you're happy with what it looks like. Um, now you can get out of this sketch. Here's your sweep tool. So the way the sweep works is it first wants to know what your cross section is. So I'm going to click on this circle. And then the next one is it wants to know the sweep path. So this is the shape you want it to follow. So I'm going to click the parabola. Make sure yours is not a construction line. Hopefully it's all set. And now if you look, um, I have a cable that looks right. Rather than having to do this whole thing a second time, you could just mirror this again. Um, I don't see a plane down the middle of your part. So what you could do to do that is click plane. And if you say mid plane, you can just pick the two sides of your bridge. And it will create a plane going down the middle of your bridge. If I show you that view, you can see that. And now you can just mirror. So it wants you to pick what you're going to mirror first. So I'm going to mirror my sweep. The mirror plane is going to be plane two. It doesn't seem to be picking up the sweep very well. Oh, there we go. I think it was just taking a minute. All right. The other thing I noticed is your bridge platform doesn't actually coincide as if it goes through Right? It looks like you have a little bump in your bridge, which you really wouldn't want. So I'm going to find this sketch that makes up all those holes in your end points there. Here, this one. So that's sketch four. No, sorry, it's not sketch four. I think it's your sketch three. Yeah. And what you can do here is make those the point at the end of your bridge be coincident to that point, and that should do it. Yeah, and now your it looks like your bridge or road surface continues underneath your supports. If you don't want to see these planes that you added, you can just turn them off by hitting the eyeball button. Um, same thing with all these planes up here that are in the middle of your part. You can turn those off. I guess at this point, you could also then just draw the lines coming down. To do that, you might want to just, you don't have a road platform below those. I was going to say just draw a bunch of circles. Um, on your sketch, don't forget you can use the linear pattern tool. So draw one circle and then pattern them along the way and then just uh, extrude up to your bridge. Hope that helps. Maybe I will take the time and, and explain how to do those other vertical cables in another video.